What's going on guys, I'm the Walrus Jedi, and in today's video I will be talking about the alien species, the Balanaka. So uh, yeah, if you like this video then please consider liking and subscribing for more, and yeah, let's get on to the Balanaka. These uh, bipeds are uh, basically they're amphibious mammals native to the arctic planet Garneb and Garneb is uh, lo located in the Bosni sector in the Outer Rim Territories uh, it contains the blue star Garneb and four planets Garneb, Holtomo, Mastala and Kumpatu they uh, they're f covered in thick fur, and uh, they have two lungs slash gills to breathe underwater and air. They uh, and they have webbed uh, feet and uh, claws or whatever. They have long tails, and uh, they have excellent vision. Uh, which allows them to see in the dark and uh, they eat fish as a uh, food so they share their planet with the vernals and their planet is cold you know probably similar to Hoth and it has several continents covered with glaciers uh, several meters thick and the Balanaka uh, their civilization is carved underground uh, cities, and they call them Sufis, Suf, Sufs. And uh, they uh, were skilled at sculpting ice, which obviously they need to have some skill in that to clear away for their cities. And this skill won them some fame, some fame throughout the galaxy, and. They uh, were encountered most often by the rebel spec ops. And in the Senex sector, the Balanaka and Ossens were used as slaves by House Vandran on Carfedian and other neighboring worlds. And uh, a little bit more about what they look like in that. And uh, they're about four meters at the shoulder. You know, obviously they're pretty tall, especially when you compare them to a human. And obviously they, their fur was white. Basically these guys look like polar bears walking around on two legs. So really tall and all right, a little of their history. The, the uh, Balanaka evolved on Garnib and... Uh, you know, thousands of years before the Galactic Civil War, these bear sentients were already known for their innate sense of beauty and their tradition of making personalized ice sculptures. However, these sentients could have remained in the shadow of galactic history were it not for the famous Garnib crystals. It was the great sculptor Vornes Dep Thessal de Garsarg, who first incorporated small fragments of gemstones and colored pumice in one of his sculptures, creating a masterpiece he called Crystal of the Stars. The human named Abram Zavikt, a friend of the Balanak artist, realized the similar works of art could be sold off-world for amazing profits. This led to the birth of Galactic Crystal Creations, an employee-owned corporation that propelled the Balanaka to galactic recognition. By 22 BBY, when the Clone Wars broke out, the Balanaka homeworld was affiliated with the Republic. And with the end of the war in 19 BBY, Supreme Chancellor Palpatine, uh, Supreme Chan you know, Palpatine named himself Emperor, and dismantled democracy and thus the empire was born and uh, the empire 
established uh, military bases on thousands of worlds, including Garnib. The base on Garnib was known as Garnib Station. And the governor, Varus Carbonal, was designated responsible for law and order on Garnib. However, because the Balanaka paid their taxes with no complaints and retained their friendly behavior against the Imperials, uh, they basically left them alone. You know, even despite this, they still were reclassified as a slave species by the Imperials. After the defeat of uh, the Empire in 4 ABY, you know, the Empire fractured into several factions, and the Balanaka fell into the hands of Sander Delvardus, who styled himself as the superior general of his faction, the Ariadu Authority. A little bit about him, and uh, if you're curious uh, where they uh, appear so you could experience them, they're not in a whole lot. It's uh, Star Wars Anakin Speedway and Relative Difficulties, a, uh, the Star Wars Game Master screen, and Children of the Jedi, but they're only mentioned in that book, so yeah. Well, that's, uh, that's the Balanaka for you, and uh, yeah. Uh, you can, in the comment section, uh, decide the next species to do, and uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and until next time, thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas!